In this video, I want to cover the fixed database search using a specific vehicle to base your search upon. And I also want to highlight using the VIN decoder that exists within that search mechanism. So in order to get there, we need to select the Knowledge Base tab and then select Fixed Database. So if we look at this page here, you'll see you have an option to select a make and a system and then a year range, which is the same type search that's accessed from the main front home page. But uh, in this case, in order to get the vehicle specific search mechanism, we select build vehicle. And here you can drop in a VIN or you can select a to build the vehicle year make model. Additionally, we keep track of the last 10 vehicles that you've selected using this vehicle-specific search. So this is useful uh, if you want to recall a vehicle and then continue on searching. So I happen to have a VIN number on my clipboard that I'm just going to paste into the entry box here. And the system will build a vehicle and then I can click Use this vehicle once it's been defined. So a couple of things to note here. The vehicle in question is a 2003 Silverado 1500 4.3 VIN code X, and the search type by default is similar engine package any model, and then we're listing, a, uh, we're providing you with a list of the vehicles that are included in this search along with the year ranges. And you can see that there is a total of 11 vehicles. Now say that I was working on a system that I knew was shared across uh, the other engines that were available for this particular Silverado. I can select to edit the search type and choose similar vehicles, any engine. So now that expands my search out to 37 different vehicles and we list all the vehicles here for you. Uh, we also expand across manufacturers if that powertrain is shared. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, the other two options are this model, any engine, or this vehicle. So I'm going to select similar engine package, any model, which is the default. The next thing I do is select a system to search in. So I'm going to select drivability, and if you pay attention to the very top of the screen, as soon as I select that, we're going to give you a live count of how many records match this simple set of criteria. And as I add in more criteria for my search, like hesitation, it'll count down and give me um, a matching set. Now if you filter down too tight, you can get down to zero, so you need to be aware of that. For this example, I'm going to type in a DTC a P0101, and you'll see now I have 20 matching records, and I'll just click View Results. And on my results set, I can just pick the top record here and then go through this uh, tech help post. You can see the original story is here in the top. The fixed information is here. And then we have two other areas that you need to pay attention to. The replies. A lot of times there may be very useful information within the replies that might provide you with some additional perspective when you're analyzing uh, the problem that's before you. And uh, if you scroll down to the very bottom, we have the related documents and media section. And this is where we also give you some additional insight as to what other assets exist for the 4.3. So we're showing you how many tech help records exist. Also, how many files are in the waveform file library for that engine and how many forum posts exist. And um, the other thing we do is we take any DTCs or symptoms that are included in this particular tech help record and give you a list of subset uh, search results based off of those uh, symptoms or DTCs. And lastly, we have a link to Identifix, which is our sister company. So if you have an Identifix account, you can select this link and that will drop you right into Identifix with this vehicle pre-selected. So some additional tools that we have here at IETN to help you hopefully find solutions for the problems that you're presented with. If you have any questions or comments, send us an email, support at iatn.net.